Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook here with Acrylic Painting Monday. Woohoo! If you'll notice the shirt I'm wearing with, I don't know if you can see the whole bunny, <laughs> but I'll show it to you later. It says, Art is the rabbit hole to my other world. And I mm. think that it probably is yours, too. It's something that we can really come to get together on no matter what else is going on art is a very soothing and therapeutic thing to be doing painting particularly i find very helpful i want to take a moment to thank our moderators for coming you know and be who's here john who's here well we've got uh, moderator stuffy and judy see them right off the bat and Hi, liz guys. and tech liz I don't see our Canadian representative yet, but she'll probably appear momentarily. We're going to be painting a really beautiful woodland fall scene with a guy in a boat. And we're going to be using a sponge to figure out how, you know, to make it easy for you to, um, you know, paint the trees. And I think sometimes what happens is people see our tutorials and they go, well, I don't know, ginger stuff is too hard. If you think that, just watch the video. If you pick up two things from this and never paint it, it's going to be something that you'll want to have in your arsenal for painting your next painting. So don't be intimidated by a painting that seems maybe over your head. We encourage our Academy members to. With, we usually have one and two cookie lessons. That means the easiest ones to follow. And this is probably about a two cookie. But it's a two cookie because I think we explain it very well and it's something I feel that people can do easily. The trace traceables for this will be available on our um, website um, on Monday, acrylicpaintingwithginger.com, uh, which, which number, which members and above, John? Orange, right? Yeah, orange. Orange, orange members and above. And so, but I think, I think you're gonna find this is gonna be a very relaxing evening afternoon and let's get started what do you say i say let's so wait, this wait, is wait wait wait, what, wait no wait 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 button there ah button okay work. so i have a 9 by 12 canvas and i painted it light yellow for those of you who wanted to follow along i suggest you watch the video first um we have i've gridded the canvas and um and if i were to just take a moment uh, you know, my my reference photo and let me just show you something that I, I want to do so you can kind of see it. Sometimes when you, when John does a grid for me, I can't see it, right? So that that's, you know, and maybe you can't see it either. So let's just, and by the way, if you don't own a T-square, you really want to get one. I know at the, at the workshop, on Cinnamon's workshop, everybody got a free a, a T-square. So I hope you guys are using yours. Um, I'm just going to do this so you can kind of see. This is a, a divided in half and then divided in half again. It's a very, very simple um, gridding method. Take, take about almost any photo and do that. Just grid it and then do the same lines on your canvas. That's even how murals are done. Large murals, except maybe one inch is one foot, that kind of thing. So, all right, so you can see where... Um, my water line, if this is the middle, my water line right here is just slightly above this, like that. That's my water line. Then it says slightly below this right here, like that. And then if I, if I see, see on here, it's just going to come, it's going to curve around like that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead, after we've gotten a lot of underpainting done, we'll go ahead and trace the boat on. But that's basically... Um, that's basically all there is to it. You're going, really? It can't be that simple. Yeah, it kind of is, all right? So what I want to do is just open up our paints. And as you can see, we're using pretty much our standard colors that we use all the time, except a color that I've been using recently, which I love, is cadmium orange. If you don't have that, you know, a yellow and cad red make an orange, and you can certainly use that. But I have um, cadmium orange, cadmium red light, and cadmium red medium okay and those are all to tones of orange because we're doing a fall scene all right so we're going to liz would like to tell you that this painting is brilliant already well thank you thank you liz so we're done thanks very much for joining us this evening I'm apparently liz so what, uh, what i want to do is i want to come down about this far with some sky that's just my posca pen 
want to thank Vanetta Harper for uh, writing me and telling me that you could actually refill those. And apparently Golden uh, Paints has a video on how to use their uh, Golden Inks or, or Flow Paints to refill your Posca pens. Nice to know, yes? So we're going to start with white paint. And I want it just slightly, not just sort of an off-white. So I'm going to take a tiny bit, like 1% of yellow oxide, like that. Just like that, and maybe a tiny bit of phthalo blue. All right, let me just go over the paints. I forgot to do that. White, yellow oxide, cad yellow medium, cad yellow light, the three reds, magenta, phthalo blue, ultramarine blue, and burnt sienna. All right, so there's our there's our sky, kind of a light pale sky. All right, so that's, that's the color we want. I'm gonna come down here like this. It's sort of a gray, kind of a light gray sky. I don't have any water on my brush. I'm just scooping this off, and you can come down a little bit. I just want to come down about this far and say, there's my my sky. All right, now that's 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 pretty easy, yes and yes? Oh, um, okay, so then what? Well, I want this to dry, and I won't have to take a hairdryer and dry it for you right this minute. So let's do the water. So I'm gonna rinse the brush, and uh, we're going to come down here and we're going to do it in sections, all right? So what do I know for sure? I know that, for instance, I'm going to have some darker foliage under here, and that's going to be a reflection. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to start with white, okay, like that, starting with white. I get a tiny bit of, like 1% of burnt sienna, see that? And 1% of phthalo blue, see that? Okay, that wasn't too hard, right? I'm going to come down under here. It's kind of a gray color. Come down here like that. Let's say there's my, um, it's my gray. And it's uh, because I had to rinse the brush off a little bit, make sure you wipe your brush off if you're doing that. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and get some burnt sienna. And I'm going to come down under here like this. And come around about that far and just paint this in. It's a little burnt sienna, tiny bit of cad red medium. Let's try that. There we go, that's this nice dark red. A little bit of ultramarine blue will make it darker. I, I could use burnt umber, but you can mix that just by doing that. So there you go. So you've got this nice dark brown color like that. And you want to have the brush strokes be level like that, okay? So that is the darkest corner of our um, of our water, I'm going to take some burnt uh, ultramarine blue and cad red medium. Let me just show you the mixture here, like that. A little bit, a little bit of um, ultramarine blue. So I've got almost a much darker than this. I'm going to come up here on the bank. See that? A little bit darker. And I'm going to just using brush strokes like this. I'm going to say, "There's the bank." I want to come back over here on this side and say, "There's the bank on this." Okay, there you go, like that. You wouldn't put it here because you wouldn't see it. You're only seeing this as a shadow. So don't outline this because you wouldn't absolutely wouldn't see it, all right? Okay, so I've got that done. That's kind of cool, right? So th this is kind of the steps when you're, you know, making a painting is that, you know, what you need to do to get there first. So let's take some white now and uh, just add some white to that. And look, I've got this pretty purpley color like that. Isn't that interesting? You th think it would be more of a black or something, all right? So I'm going to come in here like that, maybe a bit more white with it. There you go, like that. And I'm going to say, like, right up in here, I want this darker color. Okay, and I'm going to come on over here and do the same thing. And I might put a little tiny bit of magenta with it. Just add it. You can mix colors as you go, but we're going to keep this very simple. We're going to do this like that. And keep that pretty simple. There you go. So there's our color here, and I might add some of this in the water like that. Okay. So you're going, huh? I know. I just, it's so funny because you're thinking, well, surely that can't be all there is to this. Kind of is, right? All right. So what could we do next? Well, again, I'm letting all that dry. Here's a question for you. Yeah. Is burnt umber a mix of ultramarine blue and red? Uh, no, but, um, it, but I can get a similar color with that. 
Okay, how's that? And you can also use, uh, you know, black and, um, and uh, red makes a dark brown too. Okay, so I'm going to rinse the brush. Okay, and uh, let's see, I think I have some paper towels here. And we're going to start doing, working a little bit on the water. Okay, so I want to take, I'm just using my Posca pen here because that's pretty easy for you to see. I'm going to say that this area in here kind of is going to be orange. Okay, that's going to all be orange and maybe some over here, which we probably can put, but all right. So then if I'm not doing the orange right now, um, well, I could, let's do that. Let's take some cad orange light and come on down here like this and uh, add a little bit of cad yellow light to it. A little bit more, about 50-50. And let's just come in here like that and say there's our um, some reflection in the water. Something like that. And I know I've got some coming down here next to this. Going back and forth. Pretty pretty simple, yeah? Okay. Here's another question for you. Yeah. Ginger, do you ever paint with the golden fluid and acrylics? And if so, do you have any demos? I am struggling with them, but thought they would be easier since I'm a watercolorist. No, I have I usually just use them. What I use the golden fluid, fluid acrylic for is if I do tiny little branches on trees. Yep. I need something like that, but I don't normally paint with those, no. So, sorry, I wish I could tell you that I did. Um, all right, so I'm going to take a little bit of the burnt sienna and yellow oxide now. All right, and I want to come over here like this, maybe a little tiny bit of cad red medium. Or no, cad, uh, probably the orange. All right, I'm going to come over here like this and add a bit of color here. This is a bit darker. I'm going to see that's over here like this. Keeping all everything going sideways, right? All right, and then maybe a little bit of the uh, burnt sienna, and we'll do just some smaller brush strokes like that. Okay, and I think I will. That our boat's going to go there, and then we'll sort of fill in around that. Now, if I add, take some yellow. Okay, I haven't cleaned my brush yet. See that? Take some yellow, some ultramarine blue. Okay, as you see, I've got this sort of moss green color. See that? And if I put a tiny bit of, like 1% of cad red in it, I can make it a little bit darker. See, so kind of a moss green, put a little more red in it, see? Um, I'm gonna come up here like this and suggest that here's this, this color here like that. So just blocking this all in. See that? May have to do another layer, but that's pretty much what I want to do here. And I take some of this color, perhaps over here. Not much. Okay, so like that. I just want to block that in. Um. Okay. So you're going, yeah. All right. Then what? Because this is basically what we're doing is we're doing huggy layers for everything. Rather than just doing, you know, we have the underpainting, but right now we're just going to do a few huggy layers. So I'm going to take some white, like this, and some phthalo blue, and more white, like that. Acrylics dry darker. Thalo blue is like kryptonite, like 1%, okay? And I might pull some of that color in here like this. I think we want a little more white with that. We're going to say that that's this kind of pretty blue color right here. Okay, all right, so far so good. Now, you see how the paint is showing through here? So we just have thin layers on everything. So we can't, but all this is dry now. See what I'm talking about? So if I'm going to use, I just had blue on this brush. If I can't clean this brush, then I can't, um, um, I can't use it. I can't mix because I'll just turn my yellows green. But I, we're going to go for it. We're going to take some white and cad yellow light. We're going to come up here, maybe just maybe just cad yellow light, right? And a little bit of uh, cad yellow medium. 
and we're going to come up here like this and uh, put this color and add a little tiny bit of uh, the um, orange color to it and uh, I think that's probably all we're going to do with this because we're going to use like I say we're going to use a sponge to to put these colors in and I know I want say some some CAD uh, Cad, uh, cad, cadmium orange up in here like this. I know at least down to here, maybe even under here like this. I'm going to say there's some cadmium orange. Um, I don't want a straight line here, but I'm just going to say that this is going to be that color. And uh, again, it will be the brightest because we painted it. Um, over over yellow and that's why we did it that way all right can we add a little bit of this cadmium orange here that another little coat right in here like that all right. just do another little coat like that all right so it doesn't really look much like the picture and I think that this is where um, people kind of struggle sometimes with acrylics because it, when you when you layer something like this, this is really is what we call the ugly stage, and it's hard to imagine how you're going to get <laughs> anywhere past this. It's hard to believe that's even going to become a painting. I know, isn't it? Because it's just really people just throw that. And it looks off. like a bad jigsaw puzzle, <laughs> right? All right. Where the pieces so, don't quite come together. I know, and it's kind of a shame because it's just this kind of what we what what we want everything to be able to do. So I'm going to let that sit for a second, or just take a minute. To Joe, why that's drawing it over. Thank you guys for subscribing to our channel and being part of it. You know, besides having, um, if you were with us last week, I hope that you certainly finished this painting. We, some of you posted yours in our Facebook club, Acrylic Painting with Ginger, on Cook on Facebook. I hope if you haven't joined the club, you will. Our moderators are, well, you know, happy to, to you know, accept your. Um, uh, membership you know it's, it's a private club so you can feel very safe about posting your artwork because when you do that um, people only have nice things to say it's like uh, there's never they never be heard a discouraging word kind of like home on the range home on the club right absolutely and we also um, have some interesting very interesting paintings coming up in our Academy so besides doing YouTube we have an online art school and this is amazing because there's just really nothing like it out there and for under $50 a month you can have personal art coaching and access to over 700 videos which is pretty amazing plus the plus you can have personal art coaching with anything that you've done on you know on our channel on YouTube too so and it's anywhere from beginner sometimes we show you a lot of the advanced stuff but we have probably three or four hundred beginner videos too all right so here's this is the one that will be um it's going to be released soon it's um i just wanted to paint him it's just it's, it's, it's johnny depp um our our pirate you know just kind of he resembles him right and i just think he's fun and it's a good good practice on learning portraits we focus that our red mem our, our purple members just used to do wave and water and we want to bring something else to the else to that so besides all the wonderful wave and water uh, master classes we we started doing people this year and we and we think that um that learning to do people and all the different ways you can paint them you don't have to just have per you know perfect pictures here's one that's coming up that's called the, the the artist and again you can see all the different ways and kind of layers of painting that um just uh we've also got a jazz player that's done in that style and let's see did i keep anything nope. else did i show anything else today no you didn't bring that one over i didn't bring that one over um but th th that's not the only thing we do we also we have so many different videos like look check out our cat that's the same cat. cat. That's our cat, and we also have him on a T-shirt in our C. store. That's just I love this. Don't you love this? Here, let me put the lid back on it. So don't get him in the paint. Where did I put the lid here? Um, oh, let's move this out of the way. Uh, don't you absolutely love? And look how close. I mean, you've got the original painting, right? Like this, and check out how 
how it's replicated on the t-shirt. And I've worn and washed this a bunch of times. We take this on trips, and this is really fun t-shirts. Again, um, comes in different colors. Black. I just wear black because it doesn't, you know, <laughs> doesn't get dirty as much. Right? It's just it's I can not save as it, obvious. I can save it longer, right? <laughs> but this comes in a bunch of different colors. I just I wanted to share that with you because a lot of times people don't realize that you know we've got it. And then, like for instance, this um, T-shirt that I'm wearing um, in blue. I personally, my favorite one is in, in, in black with the bunny. It's not a tutorial, but we have a lot of different bunny things, and we're adding more bunny stuff. Art, my rabbit hole to another world. I hope it's your rabbit hole to another world. Uh, this is a nifty garden flag. Those are a few of the things that we're we're doing, and um, and I think you're going to um, have fun with those. And that's what we want you to do: is expand your art. Not everybody wants to paint the same thing, so yay, that's that's a good thing, right? This is probably dry enough where we can. Uh, Get out our sponges. Let's give uh, Julia a thank you for her donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, Julia, because we have just a couple more days uh, to, to, to the end of the quarter with those original paintings. And so many of you, so many of you, and I guess I should mention that real quick. So many of you um, were so helpful for us. And I tell you, this has been a time of year that that's, that's um, that uh, is extremely um busy for people and uh, so we appreciate the fact that uh, you're taking the time to watch the, uh, the our channel and be part of our um, academy membership and for those of you who have been able to donate to our scholarship these are the different original paintings that I did on uh, on our travels and what's kind of I what's we were going to originally just let you pick um, you know out of four we picked three but we're going to you guys have been so great we're going to make sure that we give away all four uh, with the drawing. Um, so again, we have another, uh, next week we'll be doing the drawing next Monday. And um, and we thank you guys. Anybody that contributed $25 or more gets a ticket in the fishbowl. And um, you could be uh, the lucky winner. That has to be on our website. However, um, John can tell you a little bit more about that. But again, these are all originals, non-tutorials, and um, some of my favorite artwork. And I hope you guys uh, like it and thank you for participating in our drawing and scholarship fund okay so John likes to keep our sponges in a bag when we travel you don't need a these sea sponges are the best because they have all these fun little holes in them right very random they're very random so you know no no two sea sponges will ever be quite the same yeah but the trick is you got to wet them kind of wring them out right and then what I want to do is just, we've got some other videos on, that we do fall with the, that, but using a sponge on YouTube. Because this is a fun, here, can I, we can see some, well, let's see, let's start with some yellows, like that. Okay, let's start with, let's start with the yellow because the others go on top of it, all right? So if I took my little sea sponge here, like that, see that? I'm going to come up here, see how I can make this neat tree. Yes and yes. That's yeah, cool. Huh? Right? And if I just instantly, instantly making a tree. Put a little bit of the orange in the bottom, like that. I'm going to say that I've got an orange tree coming up like this over here. And I might want. Um, take a little bit of the cad red light. All right, let's get a little risque here, okay? And I'm just gonna tap a bit of that on there, like this. Okay. Now let's take that same light yellow color and come out this way. So you can really do some neat leaves. Let's thank Susan for her donation. Susan, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Honest, you guys make such a difference. John and I had a blast when we were on this trip. We ran it across a, the last 
trip, we got, ran across a lot of people who never heard of us and didn't know about art lessons or personal art coaching. And we had a blast on our last trip, you know, scholarshiping people. And uh, let's see, I'm going to do a little bit more of the reds in here um, like this. Now, I need something darker in here. And you got to do this in layers. And it can, because the sponge is kind of, um, you see, everything's kind of damp. Um, John, perhaps you'd like to show something why I dr I'm, I'm going to need to dry this. <laughs> I would like to show something. I don't know what. You know at some point I have to dry, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah. All right. You guys just bear with me. I'm drying. You guys are good with that. Yes? Yeah, they yes can dry. Yes? Yeah, we can dry you. I'll just mute you. Yeah. All right. We got rid of the boss for a while. Let her dry. Hey, we really appreciate you guys helping us out with the donation to the scholarship fund. Uh, it, as you all know, the economy really sucks at the moment, and we have a lot of people that are wanting to try art and help them alleviate their pain and suffering of the day, it seems to be. And with your donations, we'll be able to help a lot of people. Remember, every $25 in a quarter gets you a ticket in our fishbowl, where you, on this particular quarter, we have those four originals that we are donating as, as a giveaway. And they have a value of seven ninety five for a nine by seven of a ginger cook original. So for a twenty five dollar gamble, as it were, it uh, could pay off. All right, we want to. Um, now, could you all hear me during the drying session? Could you guys hear John? Go let me know in a half hour. We're gonna take a little bit of, of dark um, uh, magenta. And burn umber and ultramarine blue. And you're going to make a darker brown. Do you see that? Like that? And let's add a little bit of cad red medium because I want it redder than that. See how? Okay, that's perfect. See that? So that was magenta, burnt sienna, cad red light, and ultramarine blue. That was the colors. Okay? I'm going to come up here like this, and I'm going to say that there is my darker. Uh, area of trees. All right, there, there's that. Okay, and um, I want some green. So if I take a little, <laughs> this is so fun. My hands are going to get really dirty, you guys. Just bear with me. All right, so I'm going to get a little bit of the cad yellow light. Okay, and a little bit of the ultramarine blue to make this green color. All right, and put a little bit of orange with it and not mix it. All right, now. I'm going to, using this, the same sponge, I'm going to come up here and say that there's a little bit of a tree here, and I want something a little greener. So let's try Thalo Blue and Cad Yellow Medium. Because remember, this is going to mix with these other colors. Does that make sense? Because I've already got some brown on the sponge. Yeah, so. That's how you get instant fall colors. Where some of the leaves haven't turned yet. A little bit more yellow. Let's try some yellow. Hey, we'd like to thank Marlene for the donation that came in through Super Chat just now. Thank you, Marlene. Appreciate that very much. Thank you very much, Marlene. That is awesome. All right, do you see how we've got this whole background trees? You don't have to paint leaf one, right? Um, all right, so I'm going to put the sponge in water. You use those sponges again and again. You don't throw them away. And um, we'll work on the on, on the water a little bit now. Well, that's drying. What do you guys think? I think it's an excellent do idea. You think you're doing okay? Do you guys think, think so? Perfect. Yeah, well, well... It's starting to get out of the ugly stage. Half, of it's, first, half of it's out of the ugly stage. When I was first learning to paint, I'm going to get some of this dark green now that we just used for that tree. 
I'm going to come in here like that, start kind of darkening the water a bit, Maybe a little bit of cad yellow like that, Maybe a little bit of white. There we go, like that. So we're going to start. This is our next layer on the um, on the water. All right, and we know we wanted it kind of dark here on the edges. All right, and I'm going to take another little sponge right up in here. Let me just need another piece of sponge, something a little bit clearer than that. You can you can take these sponges and break up pieces, but I'm going to get this little piece of sponge right. All right. So what I want to do is take a little bit of the magenta. Let's put this palette knife in water and get a different one. I want a bit of magenta. Okay, let's turn this over so you can see me right there. Magenta and white. And a little bit of ultramarine blue. Well, let's thank Angela for her donation that came in through Super Chat. Thank you, Miss Angela. Thank you very much. This is awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Angela. Um, all right, that got a little bit wet on me, but I think it'll be all right. So I'm going to just... I want a little bit of this purple color in here. Back in the trees like that, see? Maybe right in here like this. I'll put a little bit of that purple there. Okay. Could you come so, back? Could you come back to the left a little bit, please? Yeah. So you see, we did that, and then maybe let's try a little magenta and something lighter. So the question's come up: Do all paintings go through an ugly stage? Yes, all paintings <laughs> go through an ugly stage. You can't avoid it, people. Yeah, you know, you could, you know, that what you can do, for instance, some people, for instance, when you're, one of the reasons it's very hard to paint in public, like if you're at a mall or something and you're painting, so, um, is that your painting looks pretty terrible before it looks pretty good. So sometimes my trick is I'll just do one piece of the painting at the time. I won't do everything like this, like we're doing now. I'll yeah. just do a little bit of it at a time. So you get, so you have a completion point. So I have a completion point. I'm going to add, just using my brush now. I'm going to add a few little leaves coming down here like that. You know, and then you can kind of kind of repair some things if you had to say that there was a tree coming up like that. Okay, and then maybe I'll bring this a little bit closer here. All right, let's see what you see how we're kind of getting that a little bit. Um Purple is magenta and um, ultramarine blue. It's a pretty good purple, right? It's a pretty purple. Ultramarine blue and magenta is a good purple, and you can put a little bit of white with it if you want. But basically, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty nice purple. And we could say that using an angle brush. These are great. Um, three eighths inch uh, Bristol and silver angle brushes. They well, that's not, a five eighths you have in your hand. That's a five inch. They don't pay me to say this. That don't even give me a free brush. Um, if no. I found another brush um, that worked as well as that, well, yeah, I'd dump these in a minute and use them. But so far I'm kind of stuck because I really like these for this type of work, which is why you see me using it. But I know that, for instance, if I come up here like this, see, I want this a little darker. Hey, let's give Sheila a big thank you for her donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you, Miss Sheila. Now, the trick is, well, thank you, Sheila, very much. Really, seriously, the trick is when you're doing something like a tree, skip a space and allow the, you know, to, the bushes to be behind it. Yes? And allow uh, the leaves to fall in front of it. Yeah, and we can always go back and do that, but sometimes it's nice to just... Um, suggest trees, yeah, like that. We're going to say that, and I still kind of feel like we ought to have one here, too. Even let's do something a little bit darker down in here, like that, down toward the bottom of the river. All right, let's just darken some of this right here. There you go. Do you see how we're starting to add color? 
and it's kind of cool. Now I want to take some burnt sienna and cad red and ultramarine blue. I want to make a very dark brown. You could also use just burnt umber if you wanted, if you have that, you don't feel like mixing colors. Let's put some more blue with that. And I want to come here, like I know that for instance, my tree's got to start here and I'm going to go lift up. Okay, I'm going to just come there here like this. And the harder you push, the fatter, and then as you lighter pressure, you, you can lift up like that. Okay, so I've got those two trees. Now let's do some skinnier ones. Again, you don't have to do complete, you can skip a space. I like Morse code, skip something. I want some trees that are coming out this way. Make sure that you have your paint is loaded on the brush. Flatten the brush out. Practice on something first if you're not sure. Make sure it's dry so it can wipe it off if it didn't work. That's certainly okay, right? Alright, so I've got this nice um, little glade of forest trees. Okay. And if I take a little bit of white paint to that, just a tiny bit of white, add to that purple color. I need more magenta and we we'll want a little bit more purple. So let's try some magenta with that. Okay. I could say that like down in here like this, right? If a tree's going this way, the reflection has to jackknife. If it's straight, then it goes straight down. Okay. So this is going to go Now, it's interesting, isn't it, that we've got, uh, I'm going to take some bit of a white and thalo blue, and um, just white and thalo blue. I want to just do a little bit of light in here like that, just the tiniest bit back in here, and just pull that down into the water like this too. Okay. And notice how she's painting from the back to the front. Yeah, back to the front, right? So, I think this tree here needed um, maybe a branch coming over like this. See, I didn't get that as dark as I want. I don't want to say too much about these trees, but... Okay. All right. Now, that to me is just it's kind of interesting because we've already got a pretty good background in here, don't we? And we haven't had to do much. I could take a little of the yellow without any green on it and come on up here. And if I wanted to, I could add a few more, you know, yellow if I needed something like this. You can always come back and brighten something if you need to, okay? Because it's all going to dry darker, darker yeah, than you see, feel there like. There you go. So see, we've already got a pretty good, pretty good painting, and we haven't done much of anything, really, honestly, if you think about it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't. No, we've we, been on. You know, we've been on for you know forty-five minutes. Haven't done a thing. Well, yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, no. So I know that I, for instance, you're pulling I want, it out of the ugly stage. I, I, I want a little bit of this brown going this way into the green. Come down here this way. Okay, and I want a little bit of the orange color coming over here like this. Maybe on this side here. If you, you remember you can you've got a little leeway as far as your water goes, right? I want to put my boat in before we do much more, but I guess I could take that. Where did we put that little sponge? Didn't we have one? I had a little sponge, didn't I? You put it in the water. Oh, I put it in the water. Yeah, there it so is. It I, dry out. I drowned it. 
Well, and I appreciate oh. that, so it didn't dry out. I drowned it. Did I? Uh, didn't? Wasn't there a couple of them? Was well, I three? gave you a whole bag of them. Yeah, but did did I have out? How many? Did yeah, I you have only out? had one out that I saw. All right, I had the other one. This I actually had two out. So, all right, so we're gonna get some oh. of that green color right here, like that. Let's let's just take our sponge and put it in a paper towel and make sure that it's only damp. Yeah, like that. You get okay. the color off of it. Yeah. Okay. So it's only damp, like that, right? It's and then red. I want some green color, like that. Some of this green color, like this. Ooh, pretty. I don't know if that really is showing up that much. Let's put a little red with it. Kind of a moss green color. All right, that's pretty easy, yeah? See, see what we did there? Yeah? Okay. Um... Let's give a huge thank you to Jules for her donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you very much, Jules. It's awesome. We very much appreciate that. I'm going over that with a little orange now. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the guy in the boat. We're going to draw. We're going to trace him on. I'm going to make sure that this is all pretty. Oh man, I thought we were going to have to freehand. I, I was we're, panicking for a second. No, we're going to trace him on. We'll just take this. Uh, we'll just put all this away. Does that have start, to drive start first? again. That was the, uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna just trace the guy on. Should, should, and this should. is gonna be easier than you think. But even if you, if you just finish this painting without a guy, that'd be all right too. For those of you who don't want to do that, but um, you could. But in the meantime, we've got, um, we and have to make sure this is dry before we do that. Yes. Yeah. So I'm gonna take a moment and. Um, She's gonna dry it. And dry it. All right. We've muted the queen once again. I appreciate everybody coming and joining us this evening. We have over 240 people viewing us. If you haven't given a thumbs up, which I have not done, please do so now. Let's see if we can get that thumbs up to at least 200. Come on, 80, 80 of you folks out there, let's get that thumbs up cranked up there. It helps YouTube know that we're worthy of watching, which we feel that we are. We're trying to get more memberships in and get more people painting our style of painting which is a little bit above the painting party style. We kind of consider ourselves the fine art of acrylic painting. And we'd love to have more members see and more people, new people, know that we exist. So anything you can do to help us, then we'd greatly appreciate it. Share, share the link, share the video, share what you're painting in our Facebook clip so we can understand what's going on. And the Queen's back. Okay, so I've got some red Sorrel transfer paper. I'm going to put it over here like that. Red. Just because it just has to be where the boat is, yeah? And let's see, we need some tape, which we had somewhere. We did have it, didn't we? Tape? I should, we have rolls of this stuff. We've got tons of it. We have tons of it. We, we say that to people. People think we're just space cadets, John. Because we don't know where now, anything is. Now, th this we... Should yeah, we, let's just, let's talk about this we for yeah, a moment. Yeah, we're just like they. Th okay, here's some. I found some. Ha ha. There, not all of it. But I found some. All right. So now, I'm going to put our guy over here like this, just like this, and I'm going to tape it down so it doesn't move. This is where I want this to be, like that. This is a very simple boat. You guys are have no trouble doing this boat in. It's a person. Why would you want to be an orange member? Well. What the, what an orange member is only like four ninety five a month, and what that does is gives you access to all our images since twenty twenty, uh, um, our traceable images. Before that, of course, anybody can find them on our Pinterest uh, uh, um, page, Ginger Cook Live on Pinterest. You know, if you find some of the older videos, want to know where those are. But the reason I mention that is because the five dollars a month makes a big difference. Is uh, you know, to, uh, to just uh, generally, uh, you know, keeping the lights on, you guys. That makes it surprisingly, and it's a small thing, and we really appreciate it when people do that, okay? I think I'll have to do that up there. So, um, there we go. So, it's a, it's a, it, we give back to you, and it's kind of it's a nice thing. It's a nice thing to do, and, you know, you can do it for a month or two. You can come and go, but we definitely appreciate it. 
when you're a, you know, it's an orange member. Um, moving on, I'm going to just say, I'm going to do this. And now let's look and see if that did anything, shall we? Oh, we go can we see it? Yeah, we can. When you're tracing like something like this, what you want to do is go over it a lot. Because sometimes it doesn't show up. Kind of like you're sketching it. Yeah, so you want to go over your lines a lot. Boats are pretty simple, but for some reason, <laughs> so, uh, they, some um, of the boats they we've baffle seen. people. I'm not sure why. Well, it's like a cup. Yeah, the, cups too. Oh, boy. The ovals on cups. We do have fun with those. You don't have to do much of a face. You're just suggesting a guy in the boat. Oh. It's, it's when is the book coming out for Cruising for Free coming out? We've got to work on it this <laughs> fall. We've got to work on it this uh, fall. We've we got to go on a cruise so we can work on it. We have to work on it this fall. we got a bunch of free ones. So probably the last ones that will happen for a long time. John, have no plan John and I have no plans to cruise at all next year at all. We're just going to stay home and try to regroup. get stuff in order and regroup and try to figure out um, how we can... Um, you know, maybe just, you know, write some other books, too, some art books and things like that. We'll well, we, got, we got one painting we're thinking of doing. Did you take that painting over there? I don't think I did. Is that this one? No, it's not this it's one. The Van, it's, the, uh, it's the Van Gogh one. Oh, the Van Gogh one. That's right. Oh, boy. No, you took that over there. Did I? Yep. I don't remember it. Yep. He isn't showing up with the red. I was wondering about that. So you know what you do when that happens? You change colors. <laughs> That's what I would do. You change uh, colors. John, are the YouTube videos still ad-free on the Orange Membership? I believe they are. I believe they are. Yeah, they, for some reason, when you watch the, the, you watch the videos on, um, on our, our site, on YouTube from our website, for some reason the ads don't show up. We don't know nope. why. This is nothing intentional we did. Actually, we make a little money on the ads, and so it's really, but I'm, I'm with you. I hate ads, so um, everything is always recorded at home on the television. Here's Marlene would like to share a thought with you. Yes, Marlene. I have watched many artists for the past few years. Ginger, you have so inspired me to paint. I love, love, love the color, and your art excites me. Thank oh. you both for all you, for all you. you do for us. Thank you, Marlene. Thank you. Thank you. Because believe me, without your guys' support, we couldn't do this. You know, we'd have to all go out and get some sort of jobs or something. Oh man! You know, you know, so we couldn't I do tried this. to get a job when I was what fifty. Mm -hmm. Couldn't you. do it. All right. Oh. Do you think that showed up? Yep. Oh, now look at that, you guys! Isn't that interesting? I would have done white. Well, you know what? I, I <laughs> should have done white, huh? Hey, any consideration on a field of, Wis of Wisconsin cows for a tutorial? What, what? Cows in a field from Wisconsin for a tutorial. Well, you know what? Uh, that would be great. Um, well, along with my tractor. Any, have you got any photos that you'd like to send us? That's something that you're thinking about? Maybe some artwork someone else has done that you were inspired by? You know, you can always use to contact us. And you got some ideas, let's say... We're up for ideas, you guys. We we're always up, up for, for ideas. We're up for ideas. We know that, for instance, um, we we're, look, we're always looking for things to do because we've got some different stuff. Like, you guys, wait till you see this. Did I show them this? This is a painting I just finished for the Academy, and it's all palette knife. How neat is this? Kind of a fall oh, scene. Oh, that, that is Fall scene. It's going to be but palette knife. You know, um, not everybody wants to do a palette knife, so we didn't do it all that big, but still... I think well, this it's a is fun, and it's, it's just, not that small. It's just, it's, you see, it's similar, but different. It's all done with a palette knife. You know, and, and something like this, you could do a combination of palette knife and sponge. You don't have to, you know, you can get, be your own person with that. Be, but, be your own person. <laughs> right? Well, don't be, it's okay. And then I got to show you guys this before I paint in my boat. All right. So the other day, I got sucked into watching. Um, what are you showing? The, uh, the cowboy. Oh. I got sucked into watching that that show, um, Yellowstone. Yellowstone. And <laughs> uh, I know Becky's been watching it forever. Our moderator Becky has watched it forever. And I was inspired and did this painting um, that will be in our academy on uh, 
you know, just because the Yellowstone is kind of cool, there's just something about the guy from the back with the fence and the fields and the clouds and everything. It's a neat painting, something that's totally different style. That's the thing. I don't teach you how to paint like me. I teach you how to paint differently so you can find your voice, your particular thing. You try a lot of different things, believe me. You're gonna find you're what gonna find your to own you? handwriting, your own skill set. You'll be surprised. So anyway, this is a uh, come on. That's really cool, right? And then um, just in a little bit, I'll show you that other stuff. All right. So let's go back to we're painting our um, our our boat. Now we're gonna use a small brush like this. This is from that one set. It's on our website. It's a funny little. They're not expensive, but uh, we found they're these on brushes. Amazon and they're cool, right? So I'm gonna take the brown. In the in the um, ultramarine blue and brown color, right? And I'm going to say, here's the dark boat, like that. Now you want you want to just kind of be careful here. One thing I noticed when I was at the um, workshop, okay, was that people like to out draw and then fill in. You'll, if you'll go back and look at my videos, you will notice that I don't do that. Have you ever noticed that? I do not draw. I I, I start in the middle and then kind of fan out to what I'm doing, okay? Now let's take a, now in this case, I am gonna do the outside of the edge of the boat like this in here, because I actually need that in here. But, all right, so we got the boat, and we know that we've got, take a little bit of orange on our thing, and we know we've got his knee right here, like that. It's just, just painting that in like that, nothing, nothing too scary, okay? I know you were all worried, but nothing too scary. Now I'm going to just take a little bit of white and phthalo blue. Brush is still dirty, so it's got a little bit of brown on it. And I'm going to come up here like this. And maybe a little bit of ultramarine with that too, a little bit darker here like this. I'm going to put our guy in the boat like this. Can I use graph tracing paper to trace? Um, yeah, you can. Here's the here's the problem with that is that when you go to draw over it, um, or paint over it, it, it paint over it, uh, it, it, the black mixes with your colors. So if you're going to do that, you've got to use a, 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 a what they call a hit it with a, 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 a something. What kind of layers that is? Um, well, you keep calling it an isolation layer. Isolation layer. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure if that's the right term for that. Okay. I could call it a protective layer. Basically, yeah. we, we did a couple of paintings just recently, and we used the golden uh, satin spray varnish on that to seal it because we were doing blue. Hey, let's give Sharon a big thank you for her donation that came in through uh, PayPal. Thank you very much, Sharon. This is awesome. Okay, so I'm making just a little bit of blue-gray color here, just all the colors mixed together, basically. I'm going to come in here with our boat like this and say there's the inside of our boat. And then we're going to have something a little bit darker back here. There we go. Now, you've heard the expression, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. Have you heard that? I've heard that. So I'm going to show you how that works. In the meantime, we'll put his face on. Put his face on. Right. Well, you can say he has a face, right, right. like That's that. That's nice. Okay. And we're going to... Make something look kind of lighter on his hat. Okay. And we're just trying to keep this simple. Just keep that simple. Keep it simple, keep it fun. Keep, yeah, keep it simple and fun, right? Now, to, to wherever there's a light, there's a dark, right? So if we, we've got him in the boat. We could take a little bit of this uh, cat orange and yellow and come up on this side of the boat right here and kind of let's just finish this side off here like this make that a little bit lighter kind of do the at end of it here like that and there's a little outline like Su that Ooh, keep it straight Suzanne I got my rabbit hole t-shirt I love the picture thank you do you? Is that just that, is that fabulous? I got so many compliments on wearing that. I love that boat or that T-shirt. I love the bunny. All right, so I'm going to take some orange right up here next to the boat. 
like this. Okay. And let's take a little bit of white and yellow and stay right up here on the nose of the boat, right like this. See, see what we just did? See, now you see the boat, right? Didn't see it before, but you see it now, right? All right, see it now there. And now we're going to, um, let's see, let me bring my iPad closer because I've got it on the iPad so I can kind of see it, right? Um, can take a little bit of this brown in the front. And let's take a little bit of dark blue, put it right here on the stomach like that. And uh, like I said, I want this to be his knee right here. And because I just I want him to show up. We'll say that he has some dark hair right here. Don't think dark. Maybe we'll just barely see that his hat like that. If this were bigger, we would do more in the way of um, his coat and everything. But um, it's not, so we're not. Does that make sense? Well, you have to have you have to have the room. And we want a little bit of a glow on uh, just where his arm is coming, like this. And uh, let's see. There you go. There's this hat. Okay. So, so far, I mean, we want to keep this simple, but on the other hand, let's see, a little bit of purple, on a purple color, which would be ultramarine blue and magenta. And we want to come under the boat like this. Let's say it's all in, in shadow here. Remember, we want this to go this way. Remember, because it's going this way, so the shadow has to go this way. We're going to say next to the boat here. It's all in shadow. Now it's starting to come together. Aren't you kind of surprised? Because it, it really is, isn't it? And what we're going to say is that this guy... Hey, I'd like to thank Jenny for her donation. It came into PayPal, and she's got a ticket or two in the fishbowl. Thank you very much, Janny. I hope J J J Janny's feeling uh, good today and feeling better. And you know who I want to give a shout out to is our is our Houston own Jenny Gu. She's one of our academy students and happens to live in Texas. And she's going to be a new mom. She says she wrote me and said she's painting again. She's got past most of the morning sickness, and um, and she's going to have a baby boy. Isn't a baby boy. Yep. Yeah. So she's Might I suggest a name, Sammy? Great uh -huh. name. <laughs> Chester's not bad either. Uh huh. Two of my wonderful stuffy staff members. Okay, now you see how we we haven't done much, right? You see this guy? We haven't, you know, because he's little, so we haven't we haven't really done much. But what we have done, and I can just do it with the Posca pen too. So what we've done is we've said that there's his hat. Okay, and then something on his back. We want this a little bit lighter. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, he's kind of showing up, and you wouldn't think so, but he is. There, okay. So now, all right, so let's, we'll leave him sit for a minute. We'll do a little more with him, but let's leave him sit, and we'll add the fishing pole. But let's get down to finishing painting the water, right? So what do we know for sure? Wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So let's get some light yellow going here, maybe a bit of orange, and come next to him. And let's say at least this much is going to be light, like that. And then the same thing here, too. Yeah, so let's get this a little redder like this. Okay, and we'll do a little bit of the cad cad 
orange is such a pretty color. We can take a little bit of the yellow oxide too. That's a good a gold color. Yellow ochre. That's, those are good colors. And come back through here like that. Let's say that's this right here. And then if I go right into white, I'm going to say that there's some white right coming here like this. Just tap. This is just titanium white, right? I'm going to tap that on there like this. And then I'm going to add some white in here. So I take a little bit of the um, white and cad yellow, or uh, yellow oxide and white. Okay. And we're going to say that that's what this color is one more white than that but it's not it's not a pure pure white Let's put a little yellow in it okay so we're going to come under here like this and say that this is our light color on our um, water and I really would like it to be even whiter than that but let's try Let's try a little bit. Sometimes you have to do two coats to get it just the way you want it, but we're going to say in here like this. Um, all right, like that. Going to get some light. Now, we see, we know we wanted some light right up here on the boat, right in front. Remember that? So we had to do another. Oh, look at that. Come on. That's fun, isn't it, you guys? We haven't even, we haven't even, <laughs> we haven't got close to this painting yet, but we're getting there. I, I think this is, I'm glad we're doing this. This is a fun thing. Let's come back up here on the, on the, using these angle brushes. Come back up here on the edge of the bank and say that there's some, I don't just differentiate the edge of the bank back here and back over here too, I might add. Keep this straight. See? And might be a little bit lighter. Okay. Um, then as long as we're doing it, I think I actually like the bigger brush for that. You know, you can get a sharper line with this bigger one than you can with that little one. Maybe because it hasn't worn out yet. I was going to say, um, it's probably, yeah, you, you really know, scrub those little guys. Because I can get, I can get some thin, see, look at the thin lines I can get with this. Yeah. All right, so let's take some cadmium orange and yellow light, cadmium orange and yellow light. Let's just come up here like this. Let's put the little leaves in the water. This is kind of too big for that. All right, I'll use a different brush. I'll use this one. No, you know what we're missing? No. <gasps> Something. We're missing the tree reflection, but that's all right. Oh, that could still We can still get that, the right? water in. We're still, we're still fooling around with this, right? Got to get the water just right. Don't forget to reload. Reload. Uh, you just wouldn't think that th anything like this would make such a difference, but it really does. Here's some cad yellow medium. Oh, I remember a question earlier. Somebody said, ask, could you use the gold black background underpainting like we have in the past? Um, you know, the problem I found, I do that, and every time I do that, I'm sorry because I think that's a good idea. And then what happens is it's hard to paint on. That's what I found with the gold background in the past, that it's a bit hard to paint on. What method can you use to paint this scene on a big canvas, a big brush? Um, I don't know that I'd do much bigger brushes, but I, I would, um, I, know you um, I would, um, for sure, um, uh, you know, I'd grit it on, you know, and, and still use your sponges. Let's see, I want a little bit of a purple color here. Purple and orange are kryptonite together. You don't want to have 
If you're going to put a little purple somewhere, you want to be judicious about it. Okay. Now we didn't get the. Um, I'm going to put these in. Get the other brush out, other angle. What I want to do here is put that dark um, tree reflection. Yes. So that's um, cad red and ultramarine blue. Okay, maybe a little more blue. Okay, or burn number, right? And where's it's coming? And see, it's coming here, so it's going to kind of go this way. Do you see that? So I know it's going to end here. It looks like a reflection. Well, I want this, some of this a little bit darker. This is the second coat on this. Okay. And I don't know too much about the different types of painting techniques or styles. What style would you call this? Um. I think this is impressionism. Yeah. For sure. It's um, you know, it's not, you know, it's just we're suggesting um Let's see, I want another dark. We're suggesting um the tr you know, the trees and so forth and um I'm going to come up here and redefine the bank a little bit. So I'd say this was, a, I'm pretty much, sure, pretty much sure that if we called this depression, Impressionism, we would be correct. Vary the size of these little leaves floating in the water. And you don't want them to go, if you have something going here, you guys. You guys, pay attention. This is for somebody who, who I'm not going to mention names, but I saw recently. <laughs> you want leaves going across. If you do it going down, it indicates like they're falling. So make sure you keep them parallel to the top and bottom of your canvas. Yes? So we're adding a few little more tones in here than we had before. And... Uh, a little bit more of the darker brown over here. A little bit more of the dark green. More of the olive green in here. And this is definitely a painting that you want to talk about with layers. Okay. And just to want to say that that makes a difference in, in here like that. Okay. So as you see how it, do you have, you want to find a little frame for this, John? Um, you're not quite done yet, are you? No, but do it well before it's a panic. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys know what I mean, right? Do, 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 do it before there's a panic, man. There's before, always a panic. The crowds come I want and screaming and yelling. Let's see what we got in our bass. Kind of lighten this guy up a little bit. Uh, too much blue on the brush. Don't really want any blue on him. Let me just wipe that off. Oops. Okay. I just want kind of a light tan color here. There you go. Something like that. Just, just say that that's the reflection from this guy.
then take some some leaves and break it up a little bit like that all right uh, let's see I think I want to put a little bit of something light under his arm here of the boat like right in here like this where he's in here and then I'll take a little bit of the a blue color that doesn't look very blue to me but try that all right and then I seem to have lost his knees again it's all right we can put them back and um, All right, so he's got, just want to make sure that we have enough light coming this way from the edge of the boat, like that. So, so this is sort of to me this is it's very soft and um, you can put a little green in here if you want but I want to make sure that I have the bank all done before I put the fishing pole in right and again we didn't want a lot of detail with this but we did want to say that there was um, What's the brand of paint you're using tonight? This is just the Golden and Holbein paints. Pretty much Golden Holbein. Um, I think I need to just bring this bank, bank back right. a little further. Now here's a good question from PJ. After I sent in a painting for a personal art coaching session, a pack, and I make the corrections, should, do you want me to bother sending it back to you or just post it on Facebook? Oh, I want you to send it back to me because I want to post it on Pinterest. You're my, that's my brag book, man. <laughs> you got to send it back. I want to see, because you may have thought you did the correction and said, what if you didn't? Okay. <laughs> oh, what if I thought of something else? What if I thought of something else? And maybe I just, you know, you want to send it back to me. Yeah, absolutely. Send it back. Um, for sure. Send, send it back. For sure. I'm going to do a little bit of this cad red now up in here. Okay, maybe a little bit of those kind of red down in here like that on the bushes, All right? Um, I think we're about here. Let's see, we want to put some leaves, some little brown leaves across in front of this like that. Maybe some light yellow here. Okay, so then if I want to put his fishing pole, um, does it have to try here, it all I'm in just, case you want to make change your mind? Or? Um, well, you know, we could do that, or <laughs> or just be a gambling person. We could be a gambling person. I know I want a little bit of a light line across the boat here. Okay, so there's some, that makes it a little bit more interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, a little more, st more stable. Okay, so just, if you're using these Stay Wet palettes, it's nice to have another palette to just mix on, because we lost some of this white up here. So I want to make sure that we, we haven't lost it completely. So I'm putting some of that back. And uh, OK, 
Okay, back across there. Um, yeah, we could, um, like I say, I'm trying to keep this pretty simple and not make it, you know, too complicated, but um, I think we could work on him just a little bit more, just on GP, right? Just GP. So let's, let's just take a little dark line underneath the hat. Um, I want to chuck his jacket in back this way, so I'm going to make that dark right there. So basically what we're saying is that his, from the back of his head right like this, his body's doing this. And, um, Probably didn't want that bit of blue right there. Maybe I can take that off. This, but we can just do some. Just to suggest a hand. Whoops. Yeah, that's pretty good for just suggesting hands. All right, like that. Again, you're not gonna. You're really not seeing the face. Just saying, there's a hand. And then you've got your. Um, yeah, there's really no detail in the face at all. Huh? No detail in the face yeah, at all. Yeah, there really isn't anything. That's why I thought we could get, get away with doing this. And you make sure this is at an angle going this way. Okay. Yeah, and if I was doing this bigger, could I, you know, could I get a little bit more detail in it? Sure. But because I'm not, Just gonna, you can always make a fat line and then thin it out with the darker one. Did you know that? I knew that. Yeah, I, I heard that before. John remembers that. Videos. Yeah, that's one of those things you absolutely can do. Okay, make sure we have all the dark shadows under here on our boat. Well, I think that's fairly, I think that's fairly self explanatory, don't you? Marie would like to know, is there a big difference between Arteza paints and what Ginger is using tonight? Yeah, I, I think so. I think there's a big difference. Yeah, I believe Arteza is not quite a heavy body like these are. Yeah, there's just, I'm, I've just gotten down to the just the paints that I really um, use and enjoy. Get use to and know enjoy, and, and those aren't, you know, those are not, let's see, let's just, I know what let's do. Let's just make this darker. I'm going to bring this tree up a little bit darker, right, like that. All right, so I'm going to say that I've got a little bit of a fishing line that's going to come out this way, which I can use my Posca pen on. And I could come just right about here to here, right? Okay. That'll yeah, work. Going for those trout right there on the edge. Right there on the edge. Maybe I could have given him a bit more bank, but we didn't, so there. Don't need more okay. bank. And I've got a little bit of light. You know he's fishing. It's all it's about. Light on his back, right just like this. And on his hat. And, um, so I got this painting now that you've done. It's beautiful. I now want to make it really big. I'm talking like 30 by 40. What detail do I have to have? Um, if you do it bigger, write me if you're an orange member, and I will send you a cl close-up of the guy in the boat that's painted better than this one, okay? Write us, and I'll make sure you have that if you, th if you want to do that. Let us know what size member, you're going for. If you do that, otherwise I would say Google a fisherman. Get a couple fishermen Get and see what Get a couple men like. in boats and see you could do it the same way. Yes? You could still use your sponges, I think. You could still do that. Well, I think the whole painting technique would be the same. Yeah. You wouldn't do anything different there. 
Yeah, I make sure my boat is dark enough. I got it deep enough. There we go. Didn't quite have it deep enough here. And uh, it seems like there was a little bit of um, light by his face. A light in the dark. Contrast. Kind of just, sometimes you just have to be able to see stuff. And in the way you see it, give it a contrast. And if your fisherman needs some more room, you can make the bank further back, by the way. <laughs> if you don't feel like your fisherman's got you, enough the, room. The, the trout are right there at the edge. But Well, they usually are, but, you know, if you could still give, you know, give it a bit more bank if you need to. So that you feel like your fisherman has, has you know, so if you get, don't get it, you know, just do some little lines like that. And that just puts the bank right where you want it, right like that, see? So, I mean, you certainly can do that. Um, I wanted to take that sponge again and go in front of this tree a little bit. But remember, if you're going to do that, you really have to wring it out because it's been sitting in water. And I want some sort of dark color here like that and that's um, I have to put some paint out to do that because I want to put a little bit darker in this area here but um, and we're just about done but I want to just make sure I have that There you go. And um, tell you what, I want that I, that sponge has been sitting in water. So look what I'm doing, okay? So I'm going to come up here like this, test it. I just wanted that corner a little bit darker. All right, there, and I think I want some green. Okay, just a little bit more green there. Makes Maybe it very a little light like. orange. Okay, so that sort of pushed that back a little bit. I don't know. Like this. I I think that's kind of fun. Yes, if you were going to do do it a little bit bigger, um, you could give a little bit more detail um, to this guy here. Let me just do a couple things I see now that I'm looking at it. Sometimes if I blow things up big, I can see it too. Um, I'm going to just. This is still. There you go. I didn't quite have that right. Don't want to mislead you. Okay, there. That makes me a little bit happier. I don't want to put any more paint out, but I'm kind of out of brown. I guess I'm going to have to. I'm just going to give up and put some burnt umber out right now because I want to finish that leg. And it's just easier to put it out than go mix colors. Get three more colors to mix. No, no sense in fighting the system. No. I didn't want it blue. There you go. This would be a thing where you would probably dry it first and then add the highlights, but I think we're okay. Well, you're just laying them right on there. You're not smushing them around. And I want to make sure that I have the bottom of this boat up like this and like that. Okay, and then this needs to come there like that. 
just a little bit darker than I had it. All right, I'm going to just show you what that what that would look like in a frame. I hope you guys, you know, this is to just take advantage of you know being able to use a sponge. Uh, before I do that, though, I'm going to just a, did you put the sponge in the water. Which was sponge? You just had a sponge in your hand. Did I? Oh, I put it in the water. Sure. Okay. All right. Before I before we just kind of you know sign off on that. And I'm not sure I like that light blue there, even though it was in my original design. Light blue where? Right here. Lower corner. Yeah. So what I'm going to do with that is just oh, I don't know. lighten it up. I don't know. Just put some white over it. Just tone it down just a bit. Still can be light blue, but just there you go. Just it was just too much, John. There we go. All right. No, I don't like that. All right. Guess we're leaving it. We? <laughs> we're leaving it. This is why you dry stuff, right? There. I'll fix. I liked it, but that's okay. Well, you know, I kind of did too. I'm just sometimes. I miss the sky above. Yes. Yeah, I know. I kind of did too, right? For sure. All right. All right. Let me just show you this back way out, right? Way out. This machine. is a new. This is a twenty by twenty painting, and it's based on, on one of my designs, but on all all the portraits Vincent Van Gogh did of himself. This is all done with heavy impasto paint, and. Um, now this one, this particular is going to be a book is what we're going for. We're thinking about putting it in a book as far as, far as, far as, far as the video. So your feedback on this is appreciated. Um, again, it's on the same kind of style we're talking about where you don't have to have a, you know, you can, it's sort of the way he painted himself. And uh, but remember when you're doing portraits, you can do the photorealistic portraits, but you can, there's other styles and other ways to do it. And as you zoom in on the impasto on this, it's really quite interesting on how thick the paint is and how just like right in this area, right in here, come over. Can I, I can't go can over. I, you can slide I, over. Can I, can I move it right yep. here? Can you kind of see how yeah. you see how thick the paint is? See like that? So anyway. All right. So and you gave me a frame, didn't you, babe? I did. We were sure you left my cleanness. Okay. So I'm thinking that this is what we're... If we had Mrs. Mott's dog in a boat. Remember that one? Yeah. That was a YouTube one, too. Mrs. Mott's in the boat. Or remember that girl we did in a canoe? Yeah. And she was in it. Yeah. And we did a canoe. We've got something about... On a, you know, we've got some other uh, paintings there, um, uh, features, stuff like that. And um, let's see. What did I do with the Posca pen? I didn't take it. Mm-mm. Uh, huh. Why do these things happen? Well, all right. So I'll sign this later. I want to thank you guys for uh, watching the video. I hope that you um, enjoyed our uh, bit of um, fun with the um, with the painting, and uh, you know how to use a sponge and still get something like that. Um, you know that to me is um, is kind of cool when we can do that. And uh, I want a purple. I want a color, a little bit of purple color somewhere. Kind of a light purple. See, we have this purple back here. I want some of that purple somewhere else. Add and a why bit does of that. this always show up when you have in a frame? Because I can see it. Sometimes it helps me focus a little bit of that purple right up in there, like that. And add that to the water. It's just to me that's more interesting. Um, that's the kind of thing that, you know, to me makes it kind of fun. Um, maybe we give a little bit of purple in the boat. There, okay. I don't know, sometimes just a touch of purple can be pretty. Um, you know, with just th that little bit of color surprise you get sometimes when, um, you know, like for instance, um, Thalo green, you guys remember that, that color, right? If you add white to thalo green, you get sort of this turquoise color. Now let me just show you what that does real quick. This is where the finishing touches come in. 
and uh, so John and I actually did a kind of a survey on this on the our videos that get get the most views and, and honestly you guys the um, the videos that get the most views are our um, florals florals really paintings like this hardly get any views at all maybe we need a better title search title I don't know here's a bit of this turquoise blue color right here Oh, they look too it's hard. The thumbnail makes it look too hard to paint. Yeah, I, I know. know. Who knows? So sometimes you can just put something like this, and that's just that little there. Now look what that did. Isn't that pretty? So then when you come back and you can break something like this up, that's good, right? So those are fun things that, uh, you know, your little color surprises uh, that make, you know, make painting something like this fun. In the comments afterwards, I'd very much like to know. Um, uh, again, we always are asking you this, but we're going to keep asking you um, if it, you know, is it just florals or um, are, are paintings like this something that you still want to see? I guess that's the, that's the million dollar question here, John. Ooh, that's a big question. Yeah, it is, isn't it? That's the million dollar question. Yeah. And, um, um, and like, let's see, I'm going to do a few little final touches of the leaves and call it finished. Can the eye for what color should be used here and added there and over here and that be learned? Yeah, because I, for instance, absolutely, because we're playing with compliments. This, uh, this is we all the warm colors in here, the oranges and everything, and um, and then there's just a few of the cooler tones with the blue, and blue and and um, blue and uh, and orange are complementary colors. So learn those because sometimes just adding a dash of a complementary color, and a purple and gold are complementary colors, and that's why this painting kind of works so well. And, um, uh, you know, our center of interest is our, our, um, our boat, boat kid. He actually looks like a kid, doesn't he? Just looks like he's very old, kind of like Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. Oh, now, it could be. He doesn't, yeah. Um, you barely well, see Well, put that. a beard on him and be older. Yeah, well, I'm just saying, he looks, um, <laughs> I could have done What like makes him black. look young? I don't know, I think his size, really. I think the size is of the boat, but I'm just saying that. Um, um, oh my goodness! Um, I think it's a fine size. Yeah, just outline that a little bit. All right, so I think I'm going to find my white Posca pen eventually and sign it. But anyway, I hope you are enjoying this one. Thank everybody that um, contributed to the um, scholarship fund uh, for this quarter and it really helped and John I'm thinking that we had so many wonderful um, people contributing I'm wonder if we can't add this one to it I think I'd like to do that I think I'd like to I want to thank you guys for all your help I want to add this painting to it along with the other four that we're we'll be drawing for next week I think this is it might be very nice to have for fall here's the um, here are our other uh, paintings that we will be having a drawing for uh, next week. For those each, of you who have contributed to our uh, scholarship fund in this last quarter. These each, are all $25, $25, each $25 donation gets you a ticket in the fishbowl. You can see how pretty these are. Um, I'm going to add the fishermen because I, you guys have been so wonderful. I want as many people to win as possible. And you can see how pretty that is. And if I turn this up this way, yeah. and show it this way, here's our lock. Just had to do that, so didn't you? There's our locks. All right, you guys, this was great. Thank you, mods, for coming. Thanks for subscribing. I want to hear from you. Thanks everybody else for coming, not just the mods. Yeah, thank everybody for coming. And you know what? Consider some personal art coaching. Look at the Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting or with Ginger. And um, check us out. And... Uh, I can't wait to uh, hear your comments and t tell. And we want to know what you think. Love you guys.
And we've got until Wednesday for the, no, Thursday. Thursday is the last day of the quarter. Uh, the last day of the quarter. Every so $25 gets you win. a ticket in the fishbowl. Mm-hmm. And then next for, next Monday yeah. we'll have the drawing. That's right. So this then we're drawing. And I'm including this painting that we did tonight. Which we don't really have a title for. Which I have a title for. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for titles too, by the way. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Have a wonderful rest of the day. And uh, I guess we're peace out now, boss. Fading to black. Bye. Bye.